The way that I understand it is, didn't don't you have a ministry background prior to starting Good Ranchers? I'd love to hear the origin story of what you guys are doing. I went to uh, school for audio engineering, and um, and uh, so I like to you know, write music, make music, produce music, and stuff like that. And so that's what I was like. That was what I was doing, and then I got hired by a really large church in um, South Houston, and was there for about seven or eight years. But about five years into it, I started. Um, I, there was something inside of me that I didn't, I didn't like um, that all of my income was coming from tithe payers. Yeah. Um, um, no knock on the church. No knock. Like working for a church is a, is a real job. Uh, uh, even you know I would work forty to sixty hours a week. Uh, um, you know preparing for services, leading people, tr- uh, training volunteers, and and doing stuff like that. Um, so that's say because rel- relentlessly, almost every Sunday, somebody would say, say to me, um, "So what do you do? Like, what do you do all week?" Because yeah. like, they just think, they think you just show up and sing, right. sing a song or two. Um, <laughs> yeah. So, I, um, yeah, I w- full time ministry. Thought that was my plan, my path. But there was something inside of me that I started, you know, praying and asking God, like. To, to give me, um, this wasn't a, a word then, but, or a phrase then, but it is now a side hustle. Mm. I was thinking like, what could I do on the side to where all of my money doesn't have to come from the church? Yeah. Um, and, uh, and so I, I started getting this idea of a meat company and mm. which is like the farthest thing like it doesn't make any sense yeah. like for, for me and my background and what I didn't know. Um, and, uh, but I kept, I started having this idea f- to start a meat company and, and, but it was, it was like the, the idea was there, but in my brain it was for someone else. And I remember mm. talking to my wife, like, you know, somebody should do this, 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 this. And, um, and so over the course of almost a year, every two or three months, I would start getting these ideas mm. and, um, and then finally, um, and I would kind of talk to my wife about it, but it was never me who was going to do the thing because yeah. like, I have no idea how to start a business. I have the money to start a business. I'm, I feel like I'm in my path and what I'm supposed to be doing. And then, uh, one morning I was getting ready and I started thinking about this meat company again. And I, as clear as day, I heard God's voice, um, uh, you know, say so it's funny. Uh, I clearly heard it in my head, but it was, <laughs> it was loud and it was clear and it was resonating mm. and it was, you do it. And like, it was a sobering moment. Like, wow. cause I was, you know, I was thinking and cause in my head, again, it was always like somebody could do this, this, and this. And so I like had this resonating voice say, you go do it. And, um, came out of the bathroom. I told my wife, I think God just told me to start a meat company thinking she's going to go, that's crazy. You're, yeah. what do you know about agriculture? Where are we going to get the money to start a company? You've never ran a company, yeah. like, like all the things. And, um, but I think she could feel the conviction that I, that I said it with. Um, and, uh, and she just looked me in the eyes and said, if you heard God, then I trust you. Mm. And we had just had our first baby boy. Um, and that was in September of, of we had him in September of 2017. This was in December of 2017, going into 2018. So he was, what, two months old, three months old. And uh, um, in January, in January, we made the decision. I quit my job at the church, filed for an LLC, 